Hey guys, Fred here. The following clips are from Elders Rising, episode 9. And hope you enjoy. Um, one of the things that I wrote, my one of my daughters was giving a, we had it on our family evening this week. She gave a, a lesson on patience. And it was it was a cute lesson. Like, And she did, she was, it was very cute. And I don't remember what she said in it. But it made me think of the, it, it, it brought in my mind a flash of the, um, we are all like being the body of Christ. How the foot doesn't say to the hand, I'm, you're more important than me, or the hand doesn't say to the eye, you know, we're, we're, we all have this uniqueness and this individuality. We all have our own strengths and our own, our own gifts. And the thing that, the thing that came to my mind though, was that's, that's a true principle. We've kind of been talking about how Satan uses his half principles. Um, most people, I don't know. I don't know if most people realize it. If you have kids that are going to school, you should. You should know about it. But there are there is a big push right now, both in education, but also in social. The this push for um, gender being a spectrum, for gender being a, a fluid idea where it's you don't have an inalienable um concrete definition the it's borrowing again off of this half truth it's using the the principle that we are unique individuals and it's it's using that as a as a half truth but the corruption there is they also add in a little a sprinkling of no one understands you which telling that to a kid is is so seductive to that kid because they don't know what to believe. They're they're figuring out the world, and it's it utilizes that that idea of them figuring out the world to try and resonate with something that they that that is that that has half truths in it. And then the the next the next lie that that gets spread is you can be whatever you want. the The actual satanic principle is do as thou wilt. Or do as thou pleases. Those those things are there. There there's a seduction there of like okay we're free we want to do what's what's what whatever we want, and that the the true principle is agency is the true principle. We need to be have an ability to choose what we do, but it hides the fact that there are consequences to our choices. It hides the fact that there are consequences to what we choose, and. There are there are people that are taking their kids and finding virtue in their kids by saying, "Oh, this, my kid's a transgender, and I'm going to put my kid on hormone blockers so that they don't go through puberty." Well, that makes kids go sterile. That makes kids become it puts kids in the worst situation possible, and it's like there there are people who who find it um, a virtue to do that to their kids. And they use that as a way to gain social clout in the in on the internet, on Twitter, on on places where people will listen to what they have to say, which is insignificant. And that's that's something that I was I was really, I guess the the linking though is how Satan he always uses good principles mixed with half truths and just not not explaining things in a clear way to to molest the good principles. He always tries to take what's good and and make it evil. There's there's a there's a saying that like the devil can't create. He can only destroy what has been created. He can only corrupt what has been created. And that's there's there's I think some truth in that. And that's why it's like that's why it's so you have to be very careful in the the things that you listen to people when they when they speak because usually there is a truth there that resonates but are you hearing the whole thing that they're saying are you hearing the whole th- words they're speaking that's one of the reasons why when Christ said you let your yes be yes and your no be no you let your yeas be yeas and your nays be nays that's so powerful because it speaks simply and truthfully and then he who has eyes to see let him see It, everybody loves to use half half truths to prove their points or to legitimize mm-hmm. themselves. Mm-hmm. I mean, you see it everywhere. 
and I'm sure most of us are guilty of it at some point. The key is to acknowledge that and not do it. You should use the truth and the whole truth as your basis, as your as your argument, because the truth will always speak louder than anything else. And a lot of people may discredit you or dislike you for using the truth, but that should be largely irrelevant. It's it's far easier to um, it's far easier to accept the fact that like even 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 Christ said that I, I I'm trying I'm trying to remember the exact quote, but it's something to the fact that you will be hated for my sake, and just accept it that people are going to dislike what you say when you speak the truth. That's just that's that's the nature of the truth is the the wicked find the truth to be hard to hear because they don't like it. Because it delegitimizes everything that they that they stand for, everything that they try to push forward as being right or acceptable. When the only thing that's right is the truth, it's like uh, that that's uh, that thing that I shared with you yesterday. Where oh yeah, that? when it's uh, the kind it. If it's a choice between being right or being kind, always try to choose kind. It will make the world a better place. It's missing a lot of context because it depends on the situation. Mm -hmm. But it's also, it's going off and off of and playing off of your feelings, saying, just be kind. You know, well, yeah, you should be kind to people. Kindness is a virtue. That's but important. It's equally important to be r right when it's right. <laughs> Usually kindness, and I can't think of an instance where kindness um, makes being right invalid. Yeah. The, the times that, the, if, if it's like, oh, you got to prove yourself that you're right. Okay. Over I can something trivial. I, I can, over, yeah, I can understand that. I can understand, okay, I'm right. And yeah, that's, that, that's actually pride that it is. But being right is not your if you're if you're right and silent about like if somebody doesn't want to listen to what you have to say let them that's fine you don't have to force truth to other people but you can't stand for falseness because that's wrong and and when you say it's you should choose kind over right it sounds more like an excuse to not choose right and that's 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 false that's wrong that's there's 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 a there's a a seductive wickedness in that well it's just like uh, um, in the church, you know, how much eff emphasis is always placed on choosing the right from the time that we are small, small until we die. Choose the right. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't say choose the right when it's easy or when it's nice or when it's not confrontational. It is choose the right. Again, thanks for watching Elders Rising, episode 9. Um, hey, buddy. If you like, subscribe and share. And have a great day. Rock the party, everybody. Regardless of what Mitch says, rock the party.